definitely don't wear it like this. I think it just looks stupid on me. I think I talk so fast that I make myself out of breath. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like you guys are gonna kill me because I haven't made a video in a minute. So it's been quite a while since I've made a video. But I'm making one now. So I got my necklace from Lizzie Love's brand. It's called Kayoni and it says melanin if you guys can't see it because I know the light is a bit. So it says melanin. The lipstick that I'm wearing is called Plum and it's by RK Kisses and you can literally just get it from your hair shop. I don't think it was expensive so yeah that's where I got it from and my t-shirt is just like plain gay t-shirt and I just got it from a place where I work at which I will not disclose because yeah I don't disclose information like that. Glad to be back. I haven't done a video in three months so it feels like ages, it feels like forever but I'm glad to be black. Black? I'm glad to be black but I'm glad to be back on this platform and I hope you guys are doing well um, and thank you for still watching my videos even though I've been absent so like I'm so glad that you know you guys are still watching and, and tuning in and stuff like that if you haven't already subscribed you know the deal just subscribe because you love me so much so you want to subscribe and yeah let's just get into this video I was gonna show you guys like it's only like three items but like I feel like it's so cool and it's a bag that I have been really wanting to get for a while now and it's been ages and I'm so happy that I finally got the bag because it will help me when I go to uni as well and it's just a good bag to have as well you guys don't understand I'm so excited like I've never I've always wanted this bag and I was with my friend and we were going down I think it's Carnaby Street and the Dr Martin shop was there and I was like oh my gosh I really want to get this bag I've been wanting to get it for ages um, I'm not sure and um, he was just like why don't you just get I'm like, I just don't know, like, it's expensive, but it's worth it, because I know it's going to last ages. And he was like, yeah, just get the bag. So, I got the bag. It's this Dr. Martin's bag. I can't actually remember what it's called off of my head. But it cost, it was 190 or 160 I think it was one... Hmm. When you can't remember the price, it's really frustrating. But it's definitely in the hundreds. I think it was 150 or 160. But this is the large version of the bag. And it's so cool, guys. Like, I'm so excited to show this to you guys because it's been a minute. Like, it's so sturdy. This bag is so, such good quality. It's so sturdy. The handles are thick. It's leather. And I love the belt buckle detail at the front. And as you can see, guys, it says Dr. Martin. If you guys know me, like I really do like Dr. Martin's. I just think their things are such good quality. I have a pair of Dr. Martin's shoes that have lasted me over five years. And I just thought, you know what, just get the bag because it's really thick. It's good quality. The leather has softened up since I've used it. I've only used it once, but it's, it's definitely like softened up a little bit. So it's not as stiff as it was. Um, as you can see, it has the staple um, yellow stitching going all around the bag. Um, on the sides um, the handles are really strong and sturdy like they're not going anywhere guys this is where you should put your name or something but I'm not gonna do that um, also you can hold it by the handles if my bag is too heavy for my back I can I know I can just carry it in my hand um, so this is how you open the bag you just pop, literally just pop it open like this and the inside is really spacious and then you have this little part where I usually put like my keys or my Oyster card or whatever in there. Sometimes I put my Oyster card in the front, but the front compartment is just like so small. This bag is like everything. Um, that, that's the only like compartment that has on the inside. Other than that, the inside is just like really open. But the reason why I got this bag, um, it's not. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like it's not a cheap bag. It's not. It's not budget friendly at all. When you buy things that are much more of a higher price, often the quality is better as well. So that is the reason why I bought this bag. And I'm so happy, screenshot, with my purchase because I just feel like it's worth it. And also like there's like this button detailing that says Dr. Martins on it, which I'm really happy about. So overall, like I'm really proud of this purchase and I look forward to using this bag throughout my third year of uni 
and it's gonna it's great like it is a bit hefty at first so just bear in mind it's not a light bag to start off with but i expected that because the actual shoes like the dr martin shoes they're not light anyway it's wiped clean which i really like um the only thing i have to be concerned about is that maybe it'll get scratched um so that yeah literally but this is i love this bag i think it's just so me the style is so dr martin's and i love the bag like i just love the bag so yeah guys i'll just show you the bag that's literally what the bag looks like with the handles and then we have the back straps which are also adjustable as well second one i'll show you guys it's a denim jacket i have worn it quite a bit now but i got this from asos asos yeah i got this from asos in a size 14. i thought this was a size 16. but it's a size 14. but i'll show you guys it i'll show you guys the jacket on this jacket so it's like this i'll show you guys when it's like obviously guys i'm not gonna wear it with this top it just looks dumb but um yeah that's the jacket so it has like this patch pocket detailing this kind of like cowboy kind of like detail here and just like a normal collar like a normal shirt collar and then that's it zip top i personally don't wear it like this i think it just looks stupid on me so i literally just wear it open because i feel like it looks better so that's it in the back it has like this adjustable detailing i think to make it tighter or looser the belt detail wait hold on is this even in use like obviously has poppers on the cuffs which is cool so you can open it and close it um i wish i got i can't say i'll get a smaller size but the arms are quite oversized so they're quite baggy as you guys can see um, I couldn't get a smaller size because I can't if I couldn't close it for smaller I'll be suffering for dead life so <laughs> that's why I couldn't really but it does this denim when I first got it it was really stiff but now it's like really stretched out and I like it but I just wish the arms weren't so baggy like this yeah, the denim it's good quality but it's that light kind of denim so it's not bad quality denim it's just a thinner version but it's not like cheap kind of denim if that makes sense and i actually have another jacket to show you guys so um when i bought the blue one i bought a black one as well because i thought i'm not gonna wear a crop jacket all year round i need something that is practical as well so this is the jacket that i got i got this one in a size 18 because i knew the denim was stiff it has stretched out a little bit um, it has a little bit of stretch, not really though, but I'll put it on for you guys so you guys can see. Now this is the jacket that I'd wear with this grey t-shirt, but the blue jacket and the grey t-shirt just look stupid. So, once I finish adjusting my hair, this is the jacket. Um, this is my favourite, this is the one I've been wearing the most, so this is just literally just another denim jacket and these buttons here guys the reason why you guys don't see me with it buttoned up is because the buttons are actually so hard to put on like i've had to forcefully push the buttons through because you see how long it's taking me just to put buttons in but yeah it's literally like the jacket is like i'm trying to I'm trying to show you guys like how okay so that's the length of the jacket really nice actually I really like this jacket it's really thick and I can't undo the button but yeah the jacket I mainly wear open like this that's the back of the jacket um, the sleeves I tend to roll them up because I think it just looks better on me that way but you can also do up the sleeves by button so that's what it look like this is my rolled up version obviously I can roll it more but I just yeah the purpose of the video to show you guys like you know what it looks like rolled up i just prefer it rolled up sometimes sometimes i just like that look and yeah that's the jacket it has pockets as well so obviously it has two pockets what's in here oh my oyster card so yeah it has two pockets um again similar color or same color as the blue jacket so i'll just show you guys like close-ups of it so it's like this washed black denim color I literally wear this necklace every day without fail. 
but I really like it. But yeah, that's the denim jackets that I bought. So might as well just sit down, you know? So that's the denim jackets that I bought. And I really, I really do like them because I just feel like denim jackets are practical and I've never really had like an actual denim jacket to wear um, seasonally. So that is why like I bought two of them because I knew that it would be practical and I knew that I would be able to wear this one in the winter when it gets colder. And obviously in London it's got so cold now so you know it's, it's practical and it's handy and it's, it's useful like it's really useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Why am I out of breath? I think I talk so fast that I make myself out of breath. But I hope you guys like this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that business, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!